Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Hello everyone and welcome back to DDoD Blacksmithing. Now today we are forging a Mjolnir pendant, similar to the one I made before. This time it's going to be better. So, hope you all enjoy and don't forget to click the like button, uh, to comment down below whatever you guys maybe want to see next and consider hitting that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get on. Let's get on. Let's, let's... Let's get on with it. <laughs> you were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is draw down a shoulder, about two centimeters along, right there. That should do it. Get a wee straighten out. It doesn't matter if you hit the uh, hit the corners down uh, on accident. Um, they're going to be knocked down anyway. Next, we are going to turn this around. I want the back edge to be sharp here because I'm going to use the back end. You just turn it upside down like that. You have a certain amount. Something that looks like that. We shall use this back edge first. See so that's thinning out there? That should um, become the shaft of the hammer. you've made the uh, the shaft as much as you want it uh, by setting down that shoulder just start to round the bar uh, as I'm about to do right now uh, you can leave that bit untouched but if you give this if you give the end a few uh, hits with your hammer by accident no big deal it's going to be squashed down anyway we go again doing this until you get a, a round enough bar that you're happy with. A shaft with a, a mass of steel at the end with a shoulder set on one side and a shoulder on the other side. Now here's the important bit, the actual head of the hammer. All you need to do is... You're sweating. Relax. Take a deep breath. Flatten it down. Uh, I'm going to use the peen side of the hammer just to get as much material to the sides as I possibly can. But it can be done with just the flat head because I am going to be showing you a certain technique to just bring the material back. You can upset it backwards to get the right shape that you want. I always panic when I'm talking into the camera. I don't know if the thing's burning or not. <laughs> so you just... Lay it back and forge that down at an angle. So you see how my hammer's my hammer's at an angle right now. Just making sure that material is set like that. Could be better, but now there's a wee angle to it. Do you see that? Yes. Okay.
have a really good temperature. I'm gonna use the edge right now. Alright, by this stage I'm going to now draw it, draw it down on the flat. I'm happy with this rough shape, therefore I can now move on to actually drawing in the material because it's quite thick, there's a lot left to go. Man, my rusty. That should be enough. Awesome. Here it is. Pretty good considering uh, considering I haven't forged in months. But uh, yeah, I'm actually uh, I'm pretty glad the way it turned out. You know, it's very certainly very different uh, to the first one that I made. It's actually it's actually pretty good for dimensions compared to the first one. The first one was extremely bulky, extremely thick. And um, it certainly was not the right representation of a true Mjolnir pendant to which why I wanted to do this because people seem to take notice to that video and I wanted to at least give them the true representation of how to forge one. And before I go, I certainly must say the things that I learned. Uh, if you're ever attempting this project, certainly keep it as hot as you can. And that's the issue because the smaller the piece of steel, the faster it will heat up, uh, but also the quicker it will lose its retained energy. Uh, but uh, try to keep that balance between obviously melting point, but also cold temperatures, because also the smaller the material, the smaller mass that you have, the more stress it uh, it has, the more you forge it cold. You know, this, it, the stress is really... Why are we still here? Just to suffer. The stress is really built up very quickly.
So, thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever. Please don't bug me. Please go.